Welcome back to Suburban Living. This is Ed. We did a little project today for the back of the Suburban with uh, all this extra wood. I got some uh, plywood that was being thrown away at a building site next door to us. And I'm going to make something for the back of this tractor. Let me give a quick disclaimer. This video is not really for instruction purposes as far as do what I do. It is for entertainment purposes only. If somebody follows what I did here and hurt themselves with a saw or a piece of wood or whatever the case might be, I'm not responsible for it. And so take this video as entertainment. If you get a few ideas from it, we, we hope that's uh, good. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to get started and see what we can't build for the back of the 68 Suburban 12. Okay, the first step in building this little dump bed for this tractor is to measure the width of the tires. The reason I'm doing that, I'm not anticipating the deck perhaps being on it, could be, certainly, but if it's sticking out on either side, I'll forget about it and clip the side of a building or a pole or something I'm driving around. So I measured the width from edge to edge and my tires are set up at about 33 inches so we'll move over here and I'm taking my sheet of plywood and I'm making it 32 inches uh, this is about half inch plywood and that way I can put an edge of plywood around it and it'll be 33 when I'm complete so let me get this cut and then I'll try to figure out how we're going to level up leveled up the box. My intention is to cut a wedge here going back level to have it set on this and then I want it to be sandwiched with two pieces of plywood coming down over this and I'll draw a hole and I'm hoping that I can put a pin through here and then perhaps even put a piece of plywood underneath here and case that somehow or piece of uh, metal underneath that to where my box will slide on, pins go in, and the box be level. Okay, I took a piece of plywood and just eyeballed it and drew a line. I tried to make this line level. And my intentions are to double these up. And I've cut four. Now I'm still working off the same sheet of plywood. Cut an end off of it. I made four of these. My intention is to double them up. And that way, they'll be at least as wide as that little bump, the little washer that sticks out on the arm. Okay, next step guys, measure the width of the arms on the three-point hitch and they were about 12 inches to the center. So I took my 32 inch board, measured over 16 inches from each side to make sure I was correct, obviously it was. Then six inches over this way, six inches over this way, that puts 12 inch on center. And then I took these and I doubled them up to make a piece of wood. This, these are about 5 eighths instead of half inch. And what we're going to do with those is set those up like this. That way it'll level up. And then it's wide enough that once I put another piece of plywood on each side of this to bring it up, I'll be able to drill a hole through. And this is wide enough that my arms will set in here. Then I'll be able to pin that through and I'll do something else down here where there is no hole. Let me square this off. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take my two foot square and I'll measure over the half inch and I'll square a line up down through here and then I'll put screws in through the other side. Okay guys, messed up. 
one point uh, these were way too wide about a half inch I guess measure yours good I I'm kind of in a hurry and you should measure things but no big deal just took out a few screws this is starting to come apart here screw came up in between it it's not a major deal probably be better if a person would glue these things or use a solid piece of wood like a hardwood like oak or something but I have no confidence in pine pine boards cut a pine board at an angle like that start putting screws in it half the time the way the grain is situated in the board it'll split see this piece of wood here look at there right into basically the heart of the tree and I just don't like to see that what I've done this is the bottom I want to sturdy this up some so I put a piece of uh, one and a half by by two and three quarter this was a chunk of two by six that I found out there in in the trash pile so I just ripped it in half with my my circular saw it's got a little edge guide there not too hard to walk along and cut that see those lay that on there if you're cutting like for example three inches just put that on there and that thing will be sawing at three inches and just walk all the way down through and I like to sometimes hold one finger like this and don't get anywhere near the blade, the blade's over there I like to hold one finger right on that edge just as a guide and then as I'm cutting slowly I just allow my finger to run right along the edge of the wood now if you had a table saw, which I do, I just uh, have it covered up with junk right now table saw will make it much easier but that's something you can do and you can split a board that way okay guys I decided to band that clear in around the bottom and that will give me something nice to screw my plywood to to make the top box something else I did I want to show you these are screwed from underneath here and then I went ahead and put a screw back through here and back through here into these to help sturdy these up prior to cutting and putting in this this last piece so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and then I'm gonna, gonna work on work on these uh, pieces that run down on either side of of the lift arms stay tuned okay guys I just make a lot of this stuff up as I go I made these these pieces it wasn't too difficult I just made sure they were down you know a little bit further than what the bolts are I scabbed these pieces on the edges I set it on the tractor and I took a pencil and I went through the three-point hitch and I drew a circle and then I put the other piece against it and I drew drilled those rather on both sides now all I really need are pins or bolts to go through here to go through the three-point hitch and probably also a bolt to go through here to catch underneath the hitch so we'll see we'll see how that goes if that fits then I'll flip it over and I'll put uh, a guard of plywood all the way around it just to make it a make it a box I don't think I'm gonna fool with trying to make it a dump it obviously will go down if you if you lower the bar but there's no reason I won't be hauling anything there in there that that needs to be dumped that um, that I know of so we'll uh, we'll see most of this is just made in fact most of it without a tape measure <clears throat> most of it just setting the board up against something and marking the end of it all right stay tuned okay guys it is on the tractor I put a bolt temporarily all I had was a piece of plastic I'm gonna get a couple bolts for that to run through there
I sat on it. It'll hold up my 200 pound body. I'm going to put plywood from the edge here up to say five or six inches. That way I can haul a couple five gallon buckets, other things over to my garden. This is what we have. Probably going to end up putting a couple bolts through here just to help sandwich that all together. Bolts and nuts, tighten those down. These bolts here have a little bit of play in them. Just a little bit of room as it goes down over the three point arms. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put uh, plywood sides on this and top's going to have about four inch lip around. I'm going to go ahead and rip out these uh, chunks. These are, these are scraps. These are some longer scraps I went and got out of the pile. We're having a building project done here next door and they're throwing away all this all this wood I'm using here they're throwing away just all this plywood two by fours that's two by eight a couple two by eights there and two by fours there treated use a two by six last night All right, stay tuned. I'm going to put some sides on that, and I'll get back with you. Here it is, completed, all except paint. The rod here is just a piece of plastic pipe. That's certainly not ideal, but uh, the weight of this is going to hold it down. This is just to keep it from sliding back and forth. I'll probably find a piece of steel sometimes. I had this laying around. I didn't want to go get anything. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to get this painted. I'm probably going to just spray paint it black. Here it is on the tractor. About four inches deep inside. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. That'll be nice for taking those short trips over to my other garden. Right now I still have that piece of PVC pipe I need to do something a little better with that. Alright, thank you. Have a great day.